Welcome back to Studio 10, everybody. Joe Barty in for Jerome Ritchie today. We are talking now about permaculture, and this extends past what we've discussed in the past, which has to do with planting. Yesterday, I got to witness the building of a solar oven. Have you ever seen this before? I, I have not. I'm excited. I, a lot of people that I told about this thought it was going to be some sort of mud hut, hole in the ground That's, type thing. Or just a bunch of solar panels connected to my usual GE range. I'm yeah. not exactly sure. It's, it's not any of those things. Uh, I got to do this with Robert Segundo, our permaculture expert. Take a look at this. Now, this thing right here is not just a box, this is a solar oven. And the idea behind the solar oven is just to use the power of the sun to trap the heat on the inside and use that ambient temperature of air to actually cook what is inside our box here. So this box is just basically plywood on the inside, wood on the inside of any type, with some foam on the outside to help insulate it so the heat doesn't lose through the side here. And then we've got some cladding on the outside just to make it look pretty. All right, now what we have here is we're gonna have a reflector on our uh, solar oven so we can actually reflect the sunlight back down into here, actually creating more heat and more light going into this. What this is, is this is a uh, back glass out of an old rear projection TV that was being thrown away because it didn't work anymore. And actually everything here on this solar oven is actually recycled materials. Now ideally what you would want to have is for reflector mirrors on all four sides of your cabinet, kind of like a flower, so it's bouncing light back and forth back into your solar oven, especially if you're going to be cooking for you know, a long time, like over an hour. So this reflectors on all sides will help bounce that sun back in here and even get more heat on the inside of your solar oven. Now, color contrast is going to play a very important part. What we have done here is painted the inside of our box black. As we can see here, if we look at our white border section, we can see it's about 78 to 80 degrees, which is ambient temperature. But if we shoot over here into our black area, we can see we're getting up to almost 140. And that's just the power of the paint itself. Okay, now this is not just a toy. This is actually functional, so we're going to bake some cookies and see what happens. cooking really nicely. And I'm sure if we left them in here for another 30 minutes, they'd be done. So, I mean, that's an hour. And the great thing is, is you didn't have to heat your house up. You let somebody else do the work and you can just kick back in the pool and enjoy yourself and the cookies will bake all on their own. Still a bit mushy, mm, but they're good. Excellent. And you can learn how to build your own solar oven. It is March 12th at Boyd Hill Nature Preserve that uh, is going to be put on by Fire of Hope. And uh, they're the permaculture experts out there. And the class is $35 per person. You're not going to be making, for one, one to three, by the way, you're not going to be making the exact same version of that because that involves power tools and the like. Uh, but Robert told me that you all will be making something sort of similar, but on a, on a smaller scale, if you are a part of that class. 